every day in the United States, 50 people are murdered. Few of the killings are ever solved. Only the most sensational cases reach the 6 o'clock news. Long is an international no figure. Is the FBI being called in? When are you going to make a statement, Lieutenant? This was it. For TV newswoman Tony Sokoloff, this man is the key to a story that could make her a media superstar. What do you know about the murder of Mr. Long? Nothing. I just found out about it. Then why are we having this interview? Some chance, man, I'll tell you, I have had a crush on you for about two years. Look, I'm really busy, and uh, you don't seem to know anything. What if I did? I think you're right. He's hiding something, and I know just the girl to get out of him. You were in the building when Long was killed, weren't you? Let's say I told you. What happens then? Never can tell. People, they say, are brought closer together by the secrets they share. It's dangerous. This kind of work you're doing. I'm a reporter. My story comes first. <laughs> In pursuit of the truth, she must leave the primetime world and enter a life the camera never sees. The reality is a realm of shadows. They said they wanted some information. Everybody wants something from somebody. What do you want from me? Anything you got. Secret motives. He knows who the killer is. And he's taking advantage of you. He knows nothing. Double meanings. You're keeping something from me. A little. Uh, hello, Antonia. Uh, let's get together. I'll tell you some things you want to know. I was there when it happened. Dual identities. Can you meet me tonight? Whatever that was, that's who killed Long. It was dark. I saw enough. Where family and friends can no longer be trusted. Frightened. Me too. Of both of you. Where even an eyewitness can be deceived. <laughs> where only one person knows the truth. And to keep from being news, he's prepared to kill. Hello, police. Again. William Hurt. Sigourney Weaver. Christopher Plummer. Eyewitness. You're never more vulnerable than when you've seen too much.